changing a carbon graphite liner in a 26080 or 26100 gun. That's a replacement liner. It comes with a brass neck liner attached to it. This piece here just screws right onto the end of the liner, make sure it's properly seated. Then at the end it will have a new crush collet and a new o-ring to seal the gas. So when do you change your liner? When you have feeding problems and you already changed three or four tips and it's not doing anything better for you, chances are it's probably a liner. You have to straighten the gun all the way out. Then you take the liner retaining nut off of the end. You can use a tip wrench, pair of pliers. Unscrew the liner retaining nut. You see the o-ring right here and the crush collet. It's probably not usable after a one-time use because it actually smushes together here. Pull the liner out. Then unlike the steel liner where you trim the front, on the carbon graphite liner you trim the back. So you need a razor blade or a box cutter, something pretty sharp. You don't want to use a, a side cutter. You don't want to crush the liner. Feed the new liner in to the front. If you have your consumables still installed, you can only feed it up to the tip holder, which will be about the perfect length. Right there, you hear it bottoming out. Now before you tighten this up, I would do a quick check, undo the consumables and make sure it's really, it's really all the way to the front. I'm just going to put this on here hand tight, like one turn so it doesn't slip out without crushing the collet yet. And if you can see the liner right here, then you know it's far enough. Straighten the gun back out all the way. Check your fit one last time. Press it in, then tighten the liner retaining nut. And then if your machine has the guide tube removed, you need to leave the liner long and go up the, all the way to the drive roll. If your machine has the guide tube installed, you can just take a sharp knife, cut the liner flush, and your new carbon graphite liner is installed.